All right, folks, and we're back. Thank you so much for staying with us. We're going to talk now about the Constitution Party of the great state of North Carolina, and you're going to find that very, very interesting, I can assure you. Sitting right across from me is Terry Hardison. He is the Central Region Director for the Constitution Party of North Carolina. Terry, good to have you with us. Thank you, Mr. Garner. It's good to be here. Well, just call me Reese if you All right, Reese. Okay, I appreciate Reese. that, Terry. And uh, over to my left is Kevin Hayes. He is out of Wayne County. He is the Wayne County Director of the Constitution Party uh, of the state of North Carolina. Good to have you with Thank us, Thank you for having us on. Right. I know, I know you're staying busy. Yes, I know sir. because I've seen a lot of your emails out there. I've seen a lot of, uh, I, know you, I know you're staying on the move, no question yes. about it. I'm going to start with you, Kevin. Uh, tell us, just what is the Constitution Party? The Constitution Party is a, th a third party. We are um, the most conservative party out there, we believe. Um, we believe our platform is the Constitution. We are the only 100% pro-life party in the state of North Carolina. Um, we believe in traditional marriage, believe in the Second Amendment and so on. Um, right now we were trying to get on the ballot in North Carolina and to do so we need the 84,379 signatures. They make it very hard on third parties in North Carolina to get on the ballot. No so question. we have to petition to get on the ballot, <coughs> and which is, we, we should be on the ballot by 2012. Okay, but you, you're, working, are you working now in the state yes, getting sir. signatures? Yes sir, uh -huh. yes sir. And how many does it require again? 84,379. They don't make it real easy no. to get on the And ballot. that's valid signatures. A lot of times people oh, sign know, it I and know, um, I know. they may not necessarily be registered voters. You may get 100,000, but still not have 84,000 exactly. registered exactly. voters. I mean, that could happen, obviously. But it is something you're obviously committed to. Yes, sir. Very much so. At such a young age, what got you committed to the Constitution um, Party? I became very disenchanted with the Republican Party. Um, during the last election, and when they nominated John McCain, that was it for me. And um, Pastor Hardin, which was my pastor up in Martinsville, Virginia, he had a TV program, and he had our the Constitution Party presidential candidate Chuck Baldwin was on TV. Yes. And I was just so impressed with him. How about I it? did some more research. I immediately I started working for his campaign for president, and then, and then a few months later, I decided I wanted to get involved with the state party. And then my county did not have a director, so I became our county director. How about it? And you're proud to be that. Yes, sir. Want. Absolutely. All right, let's go to you, Terry. Okay. Uh, now, you obviously cover a whole lot of territory yes, sir. in this. Yes, How is it looking for the Constitution Party? Right now in North Carolina, it lo it's exciting. Uh, in my region, we're getting a lot of uh, county directors coming forward, and um, uh, we're having a lot of telephone calls come in. Uh, folks who are not aware of the Constitution That's Party. True. And we're trying our best to get the party's name out there. And uh, so we are uh, purchasing ads, uh, hope to get radio time or TV time. We've, uh, we've been interviewed for, by a couple of stations, radio stations. It's just an everyday uh, sure. deal now. And sure. uh, once, we, once people even hear the name, Constitution right. Party, they, I know Kevin's received several calls. I got one before I left home yesterday yes. in Raleigh. Yes. And folks who were at one time disenchanted with the Constitution Party because we weren't doing enough a few years back, now we seem to have caught fire. About and it. Uh, it seems like that uh, a lot of people are becoming more interested. In you know, it. probably one of the main reasons, I don't know this obviously, but probably one of the main reasons that there is a heightened interest in a party like the Constitution Party is that people are uh, pretty upset about the possibility of a constitutional government yes, slipping away from it. right here. It could happen in our country, and I think a lot of people are more aware of that now than they've been before. There's a greater involvement and awareness on the part of the populace. Don't you think so? Uh, Reese, it's, it's not slipping. It is has slipped. Uh, a lot of things going on now are not, not constitution, uh, constitutional. Uh, illegal immigration, uh, and I can get on with concern. I can talk about the uh, the uh, the colleges allowing illegal immigrants uh, mm -hmm. uh, to come in and be educated and yeah. what have you. Uh, what is it we don't understand about the term illegal? Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin mentioned the sanctity of human life. We're only we're the only uh, pro-life organization. Absolute, absolute pro-life. Pro we believe in religious freedom. Uh, he mentioned a traditional family and private property rights, uh, which we'll be discussing a little bit of uh, about uh, at our rally this so coming much Saturday. Much of our foundation rests on that element, right? There, yes, sir. Property, property rights. Property rights. Uh, and he mentioned the Second Amendment, national sovereignty, 
Uh, I personally believe the United States is involved in too many things worldwide, and we need to get out of that business. And, uh, and of course, we're against socialism. I had a lady <coughs> recently was asking me about our platform. I, she said, you're against socialism. I said, yes, ma'am. And she acted as if she was surprised. But I believe that's the swing we've seen in our country in that direction. Well, this country under our Constitution is a republic. Exactly. And that's completely 180 degrees away from socialism, exactly. obviously. Exactly. Right. But there again, both federal and both at the federal and state level, in so many cases, uh, our lawmakers obviously are not really looking at the Constitution. I believe a lot of them don't even know about the Constitution. And uh, I know a lot of the school children today uh, educating the government schools, and that's another subject, and uh, they, uh, they're not taught these things. And uh, some of our, uh, where we go get signatures, we were in, recently in Benson, North Carolina, oh, at yeah. Mule Days, yeah. Oh, yeah. and we've got some signatures, and we handed a, a few uh, constitutional booklets out for the children to read, yes. and we said, yes. please read it. Yes. That's the only time they'll ever hear about it, probably. That's